been talking about this afternoon is focusing on, you know, what does it, what does high performance really mean? What does inspiring a high performance culture really mean? The first performance principle we talk about we, it, it is very clear and obvious. It's about focusing on what's important, about having absolute clarity. Just delivering great results doesn't mean you have a high performance culture. Just working really hard doesn't mean high performance culture. Just having a really nice atmosphere, being nice to each other doesn't mean high performance culture. <coughs> a high performing culture, I think, has got to be an organization, a, a, a culture, an environment where people want to continually challenge, change, do things differently in order to achieve a clear goal. If you change the way you think, you get, you get a different behavior. If thinking drives behavior, gets results. And that's one of our Rolls Royce, if you like mottos, if you change the way you think, change the way you behave, get results. And getting people to think about those small incremental steps, those three, those things they can do in three or four weeks to contribute to the crazy goal. This is about those small things individuals can do. But people have been around a lot longer than me and they say it feels like a different environment. It doesn't feel like we're working in Rolls Royce. Crazy goals, having that clarity is so important to high performance. As individuals, it's the foundation of a high performance mindset having that clarity of purpose of what you're trying to achieve. For an organization, it's the foundation of a high performance culture. If you have a shared vision of what you're trying to achieve, an excited vision, one you're connected to. The goal isn't comfort, the goal is performance. Sure, we don't want people to be, you know, afraid or anything like that, but, you know, high performance cultures are dynamic, they're edgy, they're vibrant, they're people-centered and they're performance-driven. We were very clear about the goal itself yeah. and then getting our team to question how did they fit into that. So we actually came up with these kind of four, for us, four will it make the boat go faster questions. But we were just relentless around if what is what you're doing, doing one of those. And if it is, brilliant. And if it isn't, we don't want to do it. I have brought the lovely shiny gold medal with me too. When I look back over my career and I see, you know, when was it good, when was it bad, when could it have been better, it is for me about a high performance culture. That has been the difference. Going towards the same point as a collective, absolutely key. Awareness is key. Awareness of yourself and awareness of others. Leadership is absolutely key. Diversity is key. Now, I could spend hours talking about all those things because I love them all. That awareness, that level of vulnerability, that level of sharing and understanding, combined with our crazy goal, our vision, our values and our behaviours, that really was the difference and the reason why eventually we got to stand on top of the podium. Thank you very much.